Hello again. Uh, I'm back with an example of kinetics of particles uh, problem where uh, given the mass of these objects, uh, we want to calculate their acceleration after the system is released and also find the tension in the core. So here, uh, let's say we'll actually start setting up the problem. So actually, let me say that we want to find acceleration of A, acceleration of B, and acceleration of C, and the tension in the code, which I'm going to call it T. So I'm going to draw free body diagrams of each block. At the end, I just set up the mass of A, B, and C to, you know, certain numbers that, you know, we can easily calculate the uh, uh, acceleration of them. You could plug in any other number you want. I'm going to actually get a general equation here. So in kinetic problems, we want to use, obviously, the second law approach. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram of each block for you here. So let's say this is block A. You could see clearly that we have a tension T. And the weight of this guy, I'm just going to call it mass of A times G. And similarly for B, we have tension, as you could see, is doubled on this guy. So one tension here and one tension here. So that would be 2t, and then the weight of this guy would be mass of b times g. Remember, g is just 9.81 right? meters per second squared. Okay, and then finally, we're going to look at c. The tension is just t, one cable, uh, and or one segment, and then this is mass of c times g. Okay. The equation of motion is simply sum of the forces in y equal may. So I'm going to apply this equation So to block A. So for block A, taking this to be positive direction, right? we have T minus mass of A times G equal mass of A times the acceleration of A. For block B, similarly, we would have 2T minus mass of B times G equal mass of B times acceleration of B. Remember, the right-hand side is mass times acceleration. And similarly, for C, we have T minus mass of C times G, that's the weight, equal mass of C times acceleration of C. So notice here, we have three equations, but we have four unknowns. Tension is one unknown, acceleration of A, acceleration of B, and C. So we need a fourth equation. The fourth equation actually is what you've seen in the previous videos. How are acceleration of A, B, and C are uh, related? That's a kinematic relation, regardless of the mass of these objects. And that relation is simply, you see, one segment of the rope is related to A, so acceleration of A, plus two segments of the ropes, as you could see here. So two acceleration of E plus one segment of the rope for C. And that's it. That's a kinematic or dependent motion relation equation that we need. So you have to go ahead and now solve for these unknowns. Uh, one quick way, actually we have basically you can form a matrix if you want a 4 by 4 and solve it. After you, of course, you have to be given the, the value of the mass of A, B, and C. But one quick way to solve this uh, is to actually try to find mass of uh, acceleration of A, B, and C by just dividing, for example, take this first one and divide by mass of A, for example, and do the same thing for mass of B. So let me go to the next page, and let's do it this way. So if you divide by mass of A, acceleration of A becomes simply uh, 1 over mass of A times tension minus G. Similarly, acceleration of B becomes 2 divided by mass of B, times T minus G, and acceleration of C, similarly 1 over mass of C times T minus G. Remember now, our equation is acceleration of A plus 2 acceleration of B plus acceleration of C equals 0. Go ahead and plug in acceleration of A, B, and C up here. So we have 1 over mass of A times tension minus G, that's acceleration of A, plus 2 times acceleration of B, that is 2 over mass of B, tension minus G. And finally, acceleration of C, 1 over mass of C times tension minus G equals 0. So you see now we have one equation only in terms of T. Actually, if you clean it up, uh, you end up getting 1 over mass of A uh, 
and then we factor out, you know, the uh, uh, T, so we have 4 over mass of B plus 1 over mass of C times T, and notice we have 1G here, 2G here, and 1G here, so when you take it to the other side, it would be 4G. Now, let's, for convenience, say mass of A, I'll put them up here for you. Mass of A is, say, 1 kilogram. Mass of B is, I'll make it 4 kilograms. And mass of C is 1 kilogram, just for convenience. So when you plug them in here, you end up getting 3T, actually, equal 4 times. Now, now is the time to put the G in there, 9.81. And you can solve for T. And T comes out to be about 13.08 newtons. And now all you have to do is to take this tension and plug them in here, here, and here, and get acceleration of A, B, and C. Now, if you get positive outcome, that means the block is accelerating in the positive direction up. If you get negative, it means accelerating down. Okay? So acceleration comes out to be 3.27 meters per second squared. Positive means up. Acceleration of B actually happens to be negative 3.27. Now, because the way I picked up these numbers, the, these magnitudes are the same. So that means it's accelerating down. And similarly, acceleration of C is 3.27. Obviously, if you pick different numbers for mass of A, B, and C, you're going to get different values. You do have the general equation right here. So you can plug in any masses you want. So. Hopefully, uh, this video is useful for doing these pulley problems and calculating uh, tension and acceleration of different blocks. Thanks for watching and listening.